There's a reason we humble this in sujud. This part of the brain, the forefront of your brain, your brain is called the prefrontal cortex in psychology. This is the part that we say is the most advanced part of the brain. This is the part that's responsible for planning, decision making, you know, all the things that contribute to our anxieties, all the things that contribute to our overthinking. So right now I'm speaking to the overthinkers, to the ones who are, you know, their thoughts take them in a million directions. I'm talking to those who struggle with anxiety. I'm talking to those who become easily disturbed by their thoughts and then they, they, their thought ruins their whole day, right? Humble this mind not a coincidence actually this is one of the signs that really uh, solidified the method for me because I after I developed it I was looking for like continuously looking for evidence in the Quran and Sunnah and I, alhamdulillah I found you know and it supported the method but then it was sujood that confirmed it for me it was in sujood sujood you humble this mind but what happens when you are in this position of sujood what is higher it's the heart it's the mind that is humbled on the floor but the heart is higher than the mind what does that tell us don't be led by this. This is the most important part within you. So don't worship your mind. The heart's intelligence is greater than the mind's intelligence. The mind is powerful, don't get me wrong. It's an amazing, I love studying the brain. There's no way anyone can study the brain and not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's unbelievable. But despite that, the intelligence of the heart is still greater.